Hello again class and welcome to Weekly Rough Rider Americana. Today we're going to cover Mount Rushmore. Now Mount Rushmore is one of the most important and one of the most iconic monuments in the United States and I really hope you enjoy this lesson and get to understand better the stories of the men who are on this monument. Now, the inspiration and vision for Mount Rushmore came by a man of the name of Gutzon Borglum. The purpose of the memorial is to communicate the founding, expansion, preservation and unification of the United States with colossal statues of Washington, Jefferson, Lincoln, and Theodore Roosevelt. The idea of carving such a large monument into a mountain was almost unheard of, but this man had a vision and he was determined to see it fulfilled. First and foremost, Mount Rushmore is located in the state of South Dakota. The area where the monument actually is, is in an area called the Black Hills, or sometimes known as the Badlands. Now, you're probably wondering, why is it called Mount Rushmore and not Mount Borglum? Here's the reason. Charles E. Rushmore was a lawyer who helped secure the land where the future national park would be located. He was able to acquire the land, but also the resources and the material to begin the creation of this visionary monument. He was also a man of the people. He was from a wealthy East Coast family, but he also was friendly and respected the working classes of the United States. This is what Mount Rushmore looked like before the carvings began. Obviously, a lot has changed. Another question you might ask is, why are these four presidents carved into Mount Rushmore? Let's take a deeper look. The first is George Washington, the first president of the United States. Born 1732, died 1799. Washington led the colonists in the American Revolutionary War to win independence from Great Britain. He was the father of the new country and laid at the foundation of American democracy. Because of his importance, Borglum chose Washington to be the first prominent figure on the mountain and represents the birth of the United States. The second president on Mount Rushmore is Thomas Jefferson, third president of the United States. Born 1743, died 1826, Jefferson was the primary author of the Declaration of Independence, a document which inspires democracies around the world. He also purchased the Louisiana Territory from France in 1803, which doubled the size of our country and added all, a part of 15 present day states. Gutzen Borglum chose Jefferson to represent the growth of the United States. The third president featured on Mount Rushmore is Theodore Roosevelt, 26th president of the United States. Born 1858, died 1919, Roosevelt provided leadership when America experienced rapid economic growth as it entered the 20th century. He was instrumental in negotiating the construction of the Panama Canal, 
linking the East and the West. He was known as the Trust Buster for his work to end large corporate monopolies and ensuring the rights of the common working man. Borglum chose Roosevelt to represent the development of the United States. Again, Teddy Roosevelt. Ah, that, that name just seems so familiar, doesn't it? Now the last and definitely not least president featured on Mount Rushmore is Abraham Lincoln, 16th president of the United States. Born 1809, died 1865. Lincoln held the nation together during its greatest trial, the Civil War. Lincoln believed his most sacred duty was the preservation of the Union. It was his firm conviction that slavery must be abolished. Gutzen Borgram chose Lincoln to represent the preservation of the United States. In the year 2019, Mount Rushmore received 1,963,540 visitors from all around the world. Thanks again for joining us. Looking forward to seeing you next time. I have been your host, Teddy Worldsvelt, and this has been Weekly Rough Rider Americana.